Uh, everybody's here. Who's here? So motion to approve. So moved. Three good minutes. Second by Mr. Uh, Miller. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Yeah, was, thank you. Uh, we're going to table one through four uh, as per request of the sponsors. Number five is authorizing the county executive into an agreement, lease agreement with the Albany Capitals Lacrosse Club. Uh, we're going to table that. Uh, we need some more information. Motion to table. Motion. Mr. Clay, second by Mr. Signorati. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Thank you. Uh, number six is a uh, resolution 336. We're a resolution initiating a pilot of polystyrene recycling program. I believe that to be tabled at the request of the sponsor. Number seven is authorizing the county clerk to enter an agreement with various vendors beginning electronically. The clerk here? No? All right, we'll table that for another month. Motion to table. Mr. Clay, second by Mr. Touche. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Yeah, Miss, thank you. Number eight, authorize a rental space for Ravina Queen Sucker School District, the Department of Rec. So $400 more. fee to karate, I guess, whatever. Yes. Okay. Any questions? So moved. Oh, uh, I have some questions, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Mr. Krause. Oh, go ahead. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I noticed in the, the write-up that the $400 fee is just for the summer, and during the school year there's no fee at all because the facility is open. Is That's that correct. correct. Uh, because the school, because of the summer hours, we close at 3.30, so they have to keep a maintenance guy on for the evening, so that's why we had to split the fee for the maintenance person. But during the year, there's no, no fee associated with it. So we've already done this, right? We've yes. Already, so yes. we are in a situation of owing them. That's correct. Four hundred dollars. That's correct. Okay. Thank you. I, I would just because this has come up before, where uh, we I think it was in Scotland, we the county put on a program, a baseball program, yes. and they actually charge us for the field, and, and yet here we were putting on this program, and the, and the kids weren't charged anything. Here's another example where the county's coming in and putting on a program, so these kids can enjoy it, and and the the local groups are charging us in this case four hundred dollars, basically to open the door. Now, was there any thought of just giving the coach a key? Well, that's a good question, but if you look at all of our programs that we have throughout the county, the only two times that we were charged were this summer in Voorheesville and because of the maintenance guy. Other than that, all of our other locations, and we have several locations throughout the county, yeah. we have close to 3,000 kids, we've never been charged. That's, that's That makes my point, exactly. But, but to answer your question, and hopefully uh, you'll be satisfied with this, is that we are going to look, obviously, next summer and have a better dialogue with, with Voorheesville to make sure that we don't get charged. As far as this fee, it was something that was out of our control. Either we didn't pay the fee, and if we didn't, then we would close the, the uh, karate program for three months. You got over 95 kids in that program at Ravina, and I don't think we wanted to turn away 95 kids for three months. So. Well, if you, if you made the point clear that it was because of the Ravina Queen and Sucker School Districts, the, the onus was on them is the reason why the program was closed. It's a little different. I support, I mean, I have no problem with 400 hours. I just think it's petty. It's and, petty. It's and, petty. And, and Mr. Chairman, what I'll do is, obviously, to answer your question, now that we know that this fee was associated, we'll try to make better plans for next summer if this comes up again, maybe to have... If we could have them authorize a key to our director yeah. so that we wouldn't have to pay this fee. Great. Thank Any you. other questions? Motion to move it. Mr. Clay, second by Mr. Trichet. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir? Authorizing a renewal agreement with Capital District News Center. Any questions? Motion to move it. So moved. Mr. Signoracci, second by Mr. Joyce. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Member. Ten, authorizing advance of property at uh, 7A Pierce Street, <coughs> Town of Colony, the budding property owner for five grand. Motion to move on Mr. Krause. Second, Mr. Signoracci. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Number 11 is authorizing a, uh, a property located at 1 McPherson Terrace. Uh, the gentleman owns a property next door. So then we develop it. Any questions? Motion to move it. So moved. Mr. Signoracci. Second, Mr. Touche. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Number 12, authorizing cancellation of a chargeback for unforeseeable delinquent real property tax lien in the town of Colony. 
Any questions? They don't know who the owner is. So. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, motion by Mr. Kraus, second. Mr. Joyce, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous, thank you. Number 13, authorizing release of a reverter in a property located at 44 Clinton Avenue. The reverter has been met. Any questions? Motion to move it. Mr. Joyce, second by Mr. Signorotti. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Number 14, is authorized renewal of an agreement with the, uh, with the Direct Energy Business Marketing LLC to supply electricity for various county facilities. This is renewal. No yes, right. No, my abstention. Mr. Mr. Joyce's ex uh, uh, ex abstention is noted. Any other questions? Motion to move it. Move it. Mr. Clay, second by Mr. Miller. All in favor? <coughs> All right. Opposed? Unanimous. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Motion. Mr. Clay.